This year's St. Patrick's Day celebrations arrived under the shadow of war in Eastern Europe. Despite ongoing conflict in Ukraine, 5,000 miles away, people marched in parades in big cities like Detroit, New York, and Boston. Chicagoans carried on with their tradition of dyeing the Chicago River green, while other Americans adorned themselves in shamrocks, dressed in green attire, or celebrated by eating green bagels and drinking green beer. Yes, it sure feels good to celebrate a festive occasion after a two-year pandemic. But do you ever get the feeling that just like at Christmas, in the midst of all the revelry, people forget the true meaning of the holiday? Many folks misunderstand that St. Patrick wasn't Irish at all. He was British. Patrick was forced into slavery, eventually escaped captivity, and risked his life when he felt God calling him to return to Ireland to bring the gospel back to the pagan people who had enslaved him. Actor John Rhys Davies, who played the elder Patrick in the CBN film I Am Patrick, explains what the patron saint of Ireland endured. It was coming to hell. Human sacrifice, idolatry of the worst sort, endless enslavement. It was the apotheosis, apotheosis of human misery. And it took a very brave and remarkable man to come back into the, into the certain jaws of death to, to try and change it. Patrick certainly knew the meaning of suffering and service. He was a godly man of courage and sacrifice who viewed salvation and the eternal lives of others more important than his own earthly life. Patrick's example is worth emulating. So this St. Patrick's Day, as war rages in Ukraine, Let's pray for Ukrainians and Russians. But let's also thank God for the patron saint of Ireland and his example. Let's pray for our Christian brothers and sisters in Ukraine who are enduring hardship and risking their lives to bring help and relief to suffering Ukrainians. May God bless and protect them, and may he raise up more Patricks to share the love of Christ and the truth that God is with the Ukrainians in the midst of their suffering, and that Jesus offers all of us a better life in eternity with him. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.